I'm like, well, you're definitely showing your age there, but yeah. Uh, he's, 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 he's from uh, the 1800s. I love anime. Yeah. So, what's your favorite shoujo? My favorite shoujo? Oh. Uh, hmm, I don't read shoujo very often, so it's usually very shoujo -y. Um, but I did enjoy, I did enjoy, uh, reading Maid-sama, and, uh, what was it? KKJ. Yeah, yeah, dated, yeah, I can tell the younger audience is here, because when I say that, no one says a thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I love how I'm saying I'm an older anime fan when I'm not old. I'm 20. <laughs> See, I get that all the time. Like, when I make fun of Mason, it's like, look at a kid here. What is this, this playing? I'm like, sorry. I wanted my plugs now, please. Is it bottle time? Uh, yeah. Hand up, tiger blood. Tiger. <laughs> Twitter keeps recommending that I be friends or I follow Charlie Sheena, and I'm like, Dear Twitter, no. <laughs> yes? Uh, what's one of your favorite video games that you're not a part of? <laughs> I'm not even a part of, well, I'm part of one video game. I went, I'm so proud. I went to LA to record for my first video game this year. I can't talk about it at all. <laughs> In fact, I was talking to them, and they're like, yeah, we're releasing for, for the Wii and the 3DS. And I'm like, I just got a regular DS. It's like, two weeks ago. <laughs> Can I get the 3DS along with the game? So I bought a Wii, partially because I wanted to, but the other half, I'm like, I want to play my game. I want to see my first thing and be like, oh man, I suck. Um, but I just, I just played through uh, Fragile Dreams. I don't know if you guys have played it. Obviously not. Um, you guys suck. No. <laughs> Um, it's, uh, it's a very nice game, very Japanese, and, uh, you know, me being the Asian I am and appreciating Asian culture like that, um, I really loved it, so if you want, check it out, because it's pretty good. Fighting, the, the fighting controls are kind of sloppy, but you get over it. Yeah, it's the weird. I wish it were better. Anyway, any other questions? Comments? Concerns? Oh, uh, we'll go with you because you haven't said anything yet. All of them. Uh, she asked which show I would like to be a part of uh, that I haven't yet. Um, thankfully, I've been able to be a part of shows that uh, I've wanted to be a part of. Like, even just a small bit, like, well, while signing autographs, these guys let me uh, sign Dragon Ball Z, even though I, I was in the, the movie, the Dragon Ball uh, animated movie, and <laughs> I played the guy who gets hit by Goku. <laughs> I have one line, I was just like, ooh, that's it. <laughs> but I can sign it because I'm technically in it, and I can brag to my friends too, you know? Like one of the things we did during opening ceremonies, well I did, was uh, I was sitting next to uh, Gladys' voice actress, so I took a picture, I was like, hey, can we take a picture? She's like, sure, I'm like, click. So I'm gonna go back to my Facebook and be like, hey guys, ha <laughs> ha, I'm cool, yeah. My claim to fame is really honestly just bit parts that I got to be in like, big shows, like the Evangelion movie. I had a line that was overlaid with like five other guys talking at the same time, but my name was in the credits, so I get to still brag about it. I played a bit part in Fumino Alchemist Brotherhood, but my name was still there! As an anime fan, I'll take what I can get. Yeah. And it's cool, because then you have bragging rights. You know, you, you, you get, you're with your anime friends, and you're, just, you're like, yeah, so I got to meet Big Me now. I'm like, oh yeah, well, I got to be in it. Mm. Yeah, and then they think you're a jerk because you're just so... Yeah, anyway. Uh, fight for it. <laughs> Round one, fight! Um, yes. Which character on an anime would you like to be able to... I didn't even answer your question, I'm just... We're running Kenshin, there we go. Um, <laughs> anyway, as you were saying? Which anime character would you like to... Is your number one that you would like to do? If I had the chance to? It actually wouldn't be an anime character. I mean, I'd like to be a part of franchises. Like, I would love, because I'm a Transformers geek, I would love to be in any Transformers <laughs> thing in general. Yeah, don't get me started. Like, I should have my own... Yes. Isn't it, isn't it funny? I know a lot of people who are like, yeah, Optimus Prime stands for America. I'm like, he's Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> what? No! Yeah. 
I don't know, I like, to, I like to transform, because, I mean, space operas aren't exactly my thing, you know, I don't know, just, just me, just me, yeah, so, um, and, oh, and since I'm a video game nerd, I love the Tales series, Tales of, so I would, I would really like to be a part of that, yeah, anyway, um, any other questions? Yeah. Favorite character to play? No, well, that's hard, because, when you play a character, it's like they're all standing like, behind me. And if I were to say soul, all of a sudden I hear a little Moloch being like, What? I was here first. And then I was like, Okay, fine, Moloch. And then the twins are like, I'm gonna eat you, I'm gonna drink your blood if you don't pick us. I'm like, Okay, well, and you feel like peer pressure by your own characters. Or maybe it's because I'm a psycho that I picked up. Um, but I like all of them. But I, I have to say that Sutomo from Birdie really is close to my heart because I could really relate with him. Like, in fact, my parents called me after they watched it, they're like, man, Tom was just like you, and my dad, I quote, man, he's, you know, he tends to be cool, but in the end, he's just really, he's really not. I'm like, and he's like, I, he totally reminds me of you. I'm thinking, thanks, dad. I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love my dad, so. Yeah, I'd have to say Sutomo, and plus he's very quirky. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Would I like to share a body with her? Would I like to share a body? Heck no. Man, the things that Satomo has to go through, like, the thing is when Birdie gets hit and they switch bodies, he feels it too. So I'd hate that because she's always getting herself into trouble and getting into fights and... Well, that's just awkward. And the thing I like about Birdie is that it comes off as a fan service show but doesn't really do anything with it. You know, like, they don't play the joke of, oh no, look at that, she's naked, what am I gonna do? Because I'm an awkward human boy and this is an alien girl. They're just like, he's just like, yeah, it happens every day, I'm used to it. Like a real man. Uh, anyway, like a boss, yeah. I'm running this kind of like a boss, except if I were the only worker and the boss at the same time. Don't get started on that. It's weird. The pa of the panels I do, you'd think I'd get asked to do more cool soul lines. It's all the ones about him getting nosebleeds about Blair. In fact, I was coming in here and oh, what you walk in here now? Um, I was uh, there's a Blair cosplayer and some guys like, I hope you don't get a nosebleed. I'm like, hey, not soul. No. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, fight for it. Who am I fighting with? Him. The one in the white tie. I like your tie, by the way. I, I want it. No. <laughs> uh, you go first. Uh, who's your favorite voice actor to work with? My favorite voice actor to work with? That's a tough one because we don't really work together. You know, it, you find out, hey, so Vic's in this, that's cool, or J Jamie's in this, that's awesome. Um, but you never really get to work together unless you're doing Walla, like group stuff. Um, so, all of them? I guess, yeah. Um, everyone's just fun to be with. And really good at what they do. It's kind of embarrassing sometimes. My first session was a Walla session. And uh, little did I know, I found out later that I was in the same booth with uh, director Chris Kaysen. He plays Gluttony in Fulminant Alchemist. And Tyler Walker, he directed Bacchano. So they were both in the same booth watching me do my thing, being the new guy, and I was just like, oh my god, really? It dawned on me just like a year ago, and I thought, this is so embarrassing. How did I not know that? I just met Chris Kaysen like last week. Isn't he amazing? He's really nice. He's, I like well, him. I was, I was standing for Annie Minneapolis, because uh -huh. that's where I live, and uh, he was backstage. <laughs> I like your glowy nails. I wish mine did that. Can I walk you later? Run. Run fast. Run. Run. I'm stealing his passes. I'd like to mention, I made friends with the registration staff. I have three different badges. I have a guest badge, an attendee badge, and an underage badge. Don't ask me why I'm an underage badge. No, would you like to die? Um, any other questions? Yes. yes. What Asian descent are you? Huh? What Asian descent how are you? How? What Asian descent are you? 
Oh, what Asian descent am I? Uh, I'm, I'm Japanese. I'm half Japanese. Uh, I'm Filipino and Chinese. Probably, probably Chinese. Yeah. 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 Yeah.